Okay, first thing we gotta do is remove the existing autopilot servo. So I have to pull that pin, which has the two uh, buckles on it. I have to re reduce the tension by uh, reducing, uh, unscrewing this turn buckle. And then back in there, if you can see it, there's a pulley that it goes around and I need to pull that pulley out. I need to pull that bolt out of that pulley so the pulley will come out so that I can get the cable out because of those cotter pins keep the pulley in place. Kind of hard to film this with uh, there we go. That's the autopilot servo pulley. Okay, the pulley I pulled out of there had a half inch, the head on the bolt's half inch, and the nut is 3 8 inch. I'm gonna put it back in case in the future I ever go to a different style of autopilot. Okay, the old servo is held in place by four bolts. I've taken out the top one, there's two there. And there's two over there. They're three eighths inch. You have to remove this bracket, which is the servo mounting bracket in the right wing. And it has uh, screws and nuts around, so I got to go in one inspection hole, the screw head, and then over here are the nuts and they're fiber nuts so I'm gonna have to get something locked on there I think the easiest thing to do I've done in the past is put a channel lock needle nose channel lock on those and then you don't have to worry about trying to hold on to them so good the needle nose wrench will hold them we'll give it a try here's the servo motor very interesting it only comes out one way major major puzzle to get it out of the wing because that has to go into that hole and flip around it had to turn like 180 degrees and rotate 90 degrees to get it out of there Okay, this is the servo mounting bracket. Sorry for the shaky video. But you can see these two washers here are glued to the back of the bracket because um, there's a hole that the bolt goes through that the washer won't fit through. So this fits onto the wing rib like that. And then these four holes, um, one, two, three, four. There were the uh, servo mounts too. So that's the old original Cessna autopilot servo.